Hey, Ron, cool. Welcome to the Human Show. I'm Dr. Hugh, uh, your host. Welcome back. We're here to answer your questions about alternative fuel, hookup, parts, supplies, anything you want to know about. We're live on Facebook and YouTube, right? Both? Cool. And so please like us, show us, whatever they do. And of course, uh, we're U.S. Carburation. And that's what we do, carburation. And uh, we have the patented motor snorkel, which makes it very, very easy to run your generator, wood splitter, lawnmower, uh, snowblower, on propane, or natural gas. But uh, all right, so if you have any questions, type them in. Our producer will get them on the air live, and we'll get them answered for you, or we'll make up something. So. Uh, while we're waiting for questions to come in, we do some other things. And this week, uh, I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite things, and that is you can make propane sing. Oh, wait a minute. The doc is in. You can make propane sing. You can make music with propane. See, that's just one more thing you can add to propane that's so cool. You can make propane sing. How do you do that? I'm going to show you. It's very simple. Propane. But before I begin, I was going to show you, you ever wonder, these things are kind of difficult, these little disposables. They call them disposables, people refill them. I know I do. But um, if you notice, it says net weight 16 ounces. Uh, some brands, like this one here, says net weight 16.4 ounces, which means you get another fourth, uh, a quarter of a quart of propane which is pretty neat. But it seems like these are, the tear weight on these is about 15 ounces, Ball, ballpark. So you can take a scale like this, and I know you can't see it from there, but if I tear that out and set this on there, it says 31.2 ounces, all right? And so without this on there, well, let's do it real quick. So that means 16 away from 31.2 gives you 15.2 pounds for an empty, so 15 ounces, 15.2 ounces. So I put this on there, I get 15, I get 23. So I have eight ounces of propane in here. Well, tear weight 16, that means it's half full because I'm a positive kind of guy. That's a half full kind of cylinder. All right, so I'm gonna put that back on there. So if you ever want to know, that's how you do that. All right, now time to make propane sing. We're going to get a instrument. As a matter of fact, if Sean could back me up over here with my instruments. All right, this is a, can you see me? This is a shipping tube. Probably get them all the time. So what you do is you light your torch. Now you gotta pay attention. <laughs> Fire. Propane. So, do you remember the pitch on that one? I don't know what it was. Mm. Oh, a different Get a little more fire, it'd be kind of cool. But you can tell it's a little deeper. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. I can't stick that at the camera because it wouldn't go by. But I think our ceiling's a little high. I'm not making that noise. Alright, now for my favorite size. 
This is my favorite. I love this one. Now this one's tricky because it's an exact balance. You'll understand in a minute. Oh, took the fire out. Why did it do that? <laughs> I can tell when it's going to do it, too. See if I hold it up like this. have it on when you turn it off so you're not bleeding from it. Now, if somebody could tell me what those tones are, and we had more torches, we could go, hoo, 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 hoo. what are you doing? Anyway, now you've heard propane sing. Just one more thing you can do with propane. All right, that was fun. I like that. All right, where are we at here? Do we have any questions or mail or something to get to? Mr. Producer Man? Hello. Hey, Doc. You know the producer's job is hard. There's other stuff happening behind the scenes here that make you look so great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. So, uh, so we, we don't have any live questions yet. Oh, OK. You can revisit some of our customer mail if you'd like. Sure. Hey, I can start with this one. Just. This one is hot off the press. This is from Frank. He had a, uh, do we even want to mention a type of kit? L ST kit? Hmm? Slip tube? Oh yeah, yeah dude. All right, he had a slip tube kit and uh, that's where you can uh, install the tube up the carburetor and uh, run it off of alternative fuel only. So. It negates the gasoline. See Dr. Hugh uh, episode four episodes ago for a demonstration of that. Four episodes ago. Yeah, they're going to go, yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, his question was, he, he was concerned that he had a little extra distance here because, you know, it is universal in design, so it can go higher for some carburetors, lower for others. He wanted to know if he could cut off the tube uh, to, to make it the exact height he wanted. And the answer, of course, is yes. But only use a tubing cutter. Do not try to cut it with any blade or anything like that because a tubing cutter uh, should be a nibbler. I don't know if I have one around here. Uh, but just gent take your time. Work it, work it, work it. Because it's a very special tubing we use and it can't handle you cranking on a tubing cutter. So just slowly work it, work it, work it till it falls off. And then what we do is uh, to clean them, you can take a, a drill bit especially like a step bit, like you get from Harbor Freight, and just kind of clean up the top a little bit, you know, smooth it out. But it'll be a nice straight, because you want a straight cut. So absolutely, if you got a slip tube kit and you feel the tube is too long or you're one of those perfectionists, really like it up tight against the bottom and just, you know, one third, no more than one third sticking up in the airstream, absolutely feel free to cut it. And uh, he said, uh, oh, he has a little note about he had a power outage during a snowstorm. He said the generator ran great for 10 hours while the power was out. And we love to hear that, 10 hours. So, uh, good for you, Frank. You're in Spartanburg, South Carolina. All right. Hey, I, st I should mention we still, if, if you can give us a, uh, if you can give us a tool that keeps working even when you're not using it, we're still giving away an engine tachometer, free. It's a $40 value, $39 value. We'll send it to you. A tool that keeps working even when you're not using it. I think it's a cool thing myself, personally. All right. Uh, you know, when your producer walks away, it's like, what do I do now? I can't juggle. All right. What's the next question? Any other? Do we have any other? Uh... Sorry, Dr. Hugh. I had to grab an antacid. This show has really got me messed up. <laughs> I just take acid. That's what I'm, I'm lying. Okay, we do. Have don't some, do that at home. We do have some customer mail. By the way, with the tubes there, that's a good point. You know, you always got the disclaimer. Do not attempt this at home. Do you think those days are gone? 
I mean, think about YouTube and everything else. How do you tell everybody not to do anything? I mean, maybe we can eliminate some clowns. But anyway, it's like, don't do this. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Please don't do it. It's like uh, you go to a hospital and a surgeon's going in. He says, now, whatever you do, don't, you know, he gets ready to cut you up. Don't do this at home, you know, you don't want to cut yourself. Uh, anyways. I, ready for customer mail, Doc? I am ready. I'm not willing or able, but I'm ready. What do you got? Is it coming on the screen? It is. Oh. We're gonna, I'll, I'll read it here since I am now mic'd up. I'm not mic'd up. It's not mic'd up. It should be mic'd up. Now I'm mic'd up. He's mic'd up. Okay, so this is many customers ask, do I still need a regulator on my propane tank after I install motors? Uh, the question should be, do I need the proper regulator on my propane tank? Yes. But uh, yes, you do need to regulate propane. Propane, uh, hey, that'd be a good, let's write that down for a show. We can, we can actually uh, show you the temperature and pressure differences of propane based on uh, temperature. Did that make sense? Yeah. As we change the temperature of the propane, we can show you how the pressure changes. And so a regulator regulates, you know, it keeps it at the same output. So these, you know, like in our NPSK accessories, these are 11 inch output. So that allows the engine regulator to have a consistent input so that the adjustments stay consistent. If the tank pressure is 80 pounds and goes to 90, that can affect the performance so uh, absolutely you must have a correct regulator on your system to run propane true true that. true that hey uh, we we do have an entry doc into the uh, contest oh hey lay it on me what do you, oh it's not one that we've had already now let me just say We've had ruler and even allowed someone to say framing square, which we gave them that. We had a stop sign. We had a compass. We had a clock. We had a thermometer. And we had a level. So what do we have? It was, uh, the guess was a level. Oh, that man. From Daniel. Sorry, Daniel, dude. Yeah, man, we already done level. Uh, Although Daniel does go on to say that tri-fuel kit with uh, snorkel works great on his Briggs generator. Which Briggs is he had, I wonder. Daniel, if you can hear us, tell us which Briggs What Briggs do you have? We like to hear. I'm always, I don't know why I'm interested, but I do like to know what Briggs they have. But uh, great to know. Sorry you didn't know that we did the level. I should have said that to start with. Uh, but, uh, yep. Oh, we have another guess. Well, yes. That one really got the people jumping. <laughs> this is from Steve on YouTube. Hey, Steve. Steve says a compass. I just said compass. We should have like a, a uh, yeah. Yeah, we. We already oh, gave one away, Steve. For sorry, Steve. We gave one for a compass. I wish we had like a, a runner-up card. I'll tell you what, Steve. Send you a million bucks for trying. Steve, go to your local Subway and have a five-dollar <laughs> footlong on us. Just go. <laughs> Tell Doctor Hughes. That <laughs> That's just a joke. They won't know. They won't know what you're talking then about. Then I'll send you the million bucks for uh, to make bail. All right. Sorry, man. I I should have said that to begin with. I, that, that was my that was my football. I'm really sorry. Come on, guys. You can think of another tool. So while they're thinking, Doc, we'll go to question two here. Question two. Yeah, let's go to question two. Question two. What is the proper method of adjusting the calibrator slash load block? What happened to the calibrator slash load block? Oh, here's one. All right. So the proper, proper way is uh, bring back the uh, jam nut. Take it all the way in, and in our proper way is to read the manual when you get it, but uh, back it out, it's about five to seven turns, and then uh, start the machine, and balance it out after that. You 
bring it. And then after it's up and running without a load, I always bring it out on the rich side so it starts to slow. And then right back until you get the RPMs back. And then pretty much just, you know, you finger, finger tightening the lock nut. And that'll usually handle it under load on the rich side of uh, idle. I mean idle, no load. But uh, definitely final adjust it under load. And uh, hopefully you have the tachometer uh, so you can watch the RPMs and verify that uh, as you adjust it, it's making the difference. Because you, you can't hear one or two RPM change unless you're really good. It's just like if you had the right person in, in the beginning, they can tell you the, the tone of those tubes. Yeah, there's like a C flat or a B, B minor something. B major something? Be all you can be. Oh, wait a minute, that's Army. All right, question all right, number three. <laughs> does uh, motor snorkel come with a warranty? Yes, it does. Um, we have a, how long do we have on the regulator? One year on the regulator and lifetime on the snorkel against, I need to write those terms down. Uh, uh, quality of those, those are, yeah, fact, if it's a factory defect. Uh, dog chewing on it or anything like that. Sorry, I can't deal with that. But we also help people out. Uh, sometimes they're concerned, I might get a new generator. Uh, we usually help people out with that. Uh, Doc, we have another guess. Another guess, oh yes, what do we have? This is, I don't think we've ever had this guess before. I'm not sure if it's right or not. That's what I'm here for. That's what the doc's for. This comes from Paul on YouTube. He says, how about a thermostat? A thermostat. Go to my secret papers here. Thermostat. Thermostat. Even works even when you're not using it. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Should we give it to him? <laughs> Thermostat. Think it works when you're not using it, yeah. All right, we'll give it to him. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I need one of those bells. Ding, 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 ding. All right, who's that, Steve? Paul. All right, Paul. Uh, info at uscarb.com. Info at uscarb.com. Send us address and number, and we will get you one out today. They're, they're really nice. They, uh, we've had them last 20 years so far. I'm not guaranteeing it, but you know, they have a lifetime battery built into them. But see, I still have three... You can almost hold them up to light and you'll see to them. Man. Well, I have one that I'm surprised no one's gotten yet. It's right up top. It's, it's right here. <laughs> and I did that so even if you paused it, you couldn't see it. <laughs> Is it the producer of the Dr. Hugh show? Who's that? A tool that's working even when you're not using it? <laughs> yeah, the, our producer's a tool. That's, he wishes. Anyway, no. <laughs> He's not even working when he is with him. <laughs> He's over there with the antacids, man. That was unfortunate. I forgot that the first part of that was tools. So. <laughs> it's, it's a tool, yes. So uh, not having a lot of questions, although Daniel did say that uh, his generator is a Pro 8000G, the Briggs and Stratton. Oh, cool. And then he submitted a follow-up guess of magnifying glass. <gasps> oh, did you? He must have saw it, man. That's the top one. That's the top one. I've had this one forever. Yes, it's a magnifying. Did you? There's no way you could have saw that, right? I mean, that was too. We already just. Uh, we just that was too quick. Paul. Well, Paul was a. Uh, what do you call that? It was a fringe. We gave him a, a, uh, a benefit of the doubt. No, it's 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 like uh, what do you call that? It's a. Uh, Chari it was charitable. <laughs> no, it was charitable. We're public service, you know. Uh, public, uh, public, what do they call that? Uh, uh, public. So, yeah, you're trying to make public happy. I forget what you call it. 
Anyway, yes. Who was that? Was that Paul again? No, Frank. No, Steve. Who? Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> All right. See, I knew it. You think you would get that one, Doctor Hugh? Hey. Yeah, you oh, think? He said he saw it. He's he's honest. Did he really see it? I flipped that thing quick. That's what he said. Put the cats out of the bag. <laughs> All right. We'll only send you the tack part, not the hour meter. <laughs> no, it's. No, I, it was my fault. I flipped it. How could you see it? I went like this, you know. It's like, and it's a bad picture. But yeah, that was my top one. Oh well, bye bye magnifying. But isn't that true? It's always working. That's why if you leave it in the wrong spot and the sun happens to pass by, <laughs> woo, you can have problems. I got two more. It's two more that I have, but there's probably some that we haven't. Everyone knows. Them. Frame by frame. <laughs> yeah. If you're that desperate, I'll give you a tack commenter. <laughs> all right. So we said, boy, it's a two-tack day. That's all right. We're generous people. We're like public service. We give stuff away all the time. It's terrible. I don't know what it's. Uh, these big companies are ruined everybody. You know, it's like, oh. But anyway. All right. Way to go, Daniel. Yeah. Doc, I think unless, uh, you, um... Oh, we mention the dealer deal. If you want to be a dealer, uh, we're really uh, looking forward to dealers. Our goal is to go uh, retail free and work with only dealers. Because man, so there's some opportunity for people out there who want to. Yes, sir. I just seen a breaking news thing that Florida just got hit with this loan by some bad storms, and 70 homes were destroyed or damaged really bad. So. Florida, there was there was. We had an audio issue, Dr. Hugh. They, they can hear you, but not as good as we would like. The snowball is coming through. But not the. Hey, give me a second. Just the one. Well, we're done anyway, right? Yeah. says it's been great to see you today. Sorry you can't hear me. And sorry you can't hear me. Because my producer Because <laughs> <laughs> the producer accidentally unplugged the audio in your face. Sorry about that, everyone. Nice to have you. We'll be here. Uh, actually, next week we're off for the holiday. Uh -oh. At least the producer is. The producer will not be here.